Honolulu police are still looking for the man who attacked a woman one week ago today at Ala Moana Beach Park. They put out this description this afternoon of the suspect. He's believed to be in his 20s or 30s, about 5'6", 140 pounds. Police say he attacked Gabrielle Bartlett last Friday at around 4 in the afternoon. She'd been sitting on the beach when he hit her in the face, knocking her unconscious. So what can be done to prevent this from happening again and what's being done to keep people safe? Jen Boniza is getting answers for us tonight. Jen. Marissa Gabrielle was attacked one week ago on a day similar to this. She thought she was safe. Instead, she was beat up and left bleeding here on the beach. I reached out to officials to see what can be done to prevent more senseless crimes like this from happening. Her bruises and broken bones are healing, but says she's still afraid. I'm told it was 4.30 in the afternoon. Gabrielle was here, laying on the beach, enjoying the day. I'm told there were even several other people nearby when she was attacked. I met with William Ammons, a member of the Ala Moana Neighborhood Board, who says it does seem like we're seeing more crimes. On May 28th, a Japanese tourist was attacked in the public bathroom at Mother Waldron Neighborhood Park. It's disturbing to say the least. The victims don't seem to be victims of robbery, just unprovoked attacks. So what can be done? Council member Trevor Ozawa says we need more manpower. There are ways to show that there, there are people here, staff, very visibly present at the beach, walking in the area, making sure that things are kind of safe. And um, so those that would perhaps commit some type of crime like that would uh, be deterred. There is currently a park ranger program at Ala Moana and Kapiolani Park. Ozawa wants to bolster that program. Public safety, though, still is our top priority, and we got to do what we can, which is step up the boots on the ground. Ammons tells me these types of crimes are a symptom of a larger problem. The problem is deeper than that. It's, it's a societal problem in mental health, homelessness, and all these related issues kind of tie into it. For now, both Ozawa and Ammons say it's important to remember to be vigilant and aware of your surroundings. Ozawa tells me that the park rangers do still patrol Ala Moana Beach Park and Kapiolani Park looking for people doing illegal activity. However, they do not have enforcement power. They are simply another set of eyes trying to deter crime. The Ala Moana Neighborhood Board tells me that they are also considering reinstating the Neighborhood Watch program to patrol the community. Live from Ala Moana Beach, Jen Boniza for KH2 News. Back to the studio.